When I was getting ready for making this gift mat series on my channel, I was going through the stuff that I already have at home and I found these paper straws, which I kept because I knew one day I was gonna make something. <laughs> so this day is finally here and I'm making a Christmas decoration. So I'm using this um, thing, which I have no idea how it's called. It's a pull out string. I don't know how's it called. You tell me down below if you know, because I have no idea. My husband gave it to me. But yeah, I'm using this to to put, and I'm putting it at the, um, let's say in the middle of the, is the middle the right term? I don't know, in the middle of the, the length of the of my paper straws and I'll be very honest with you guys as always I think I didn't put enough straws like going back I would put more I just you know wasn't sure this was my first time trying this project so yeah here you see me trying to pull the, the string or how's it called to make it more tight but you can avoid that part, I would say. And now I'm trying to create kind of a star shape. Let's say star <laughs> with a lot of fantasy. <laughs> and guys, if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. To, don't forget to like this video if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it, it's fine. At least I know your feedback, you know, I need to know what you guys like to watch so I can make more of those videos. Because I love making those videos, but hopefully, you know, <laughs> someone will watch them. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like DIYs, you know, making stuff for yourself. I have a lot of beauty DIYs, candle making. I started this channel, actually started, it was called Candy Candles because it was my business. And I made a lot of creative candles. I have uh, the tutorial for making the strongest scented candle ever. If you're interested, I'll link it up here. And, uh, but I have a lot of other stuff. This series is for, you know, Christmas, making gifts on a, on a budget for Christmas. I hope you, you like it. It was kind of like challenging because I went through all the stuff that I have and I was like, okay, what can, what can I make out of this? But hopefully I can inspire you, you know, if you, if you have a tight budget or, you know, maybe your last minute, whatever, you can make some gift. In this case, in this video here is a more like a Christmas decoration. But yeah, I just hope you get inspired to get creative. Because I think, like for me, getting creative, you know, doing stuff with the hands, create something from nothing or even, you know, upcycling stuff. Like, I don't know, it's very good for mentally <laughs> you know what I mean it's like my meditation if you know what I mean but yeah so this is kind of a star let's say so I decided because you could see the black string which I didn't like I put this uh, ribbon I think it's called golden ribbon for you know to wrap the, um, the gift and I was like yeah I can put it all around so it's gold so it will uh, kind of match the theme the Christmas theme When after putting the, the golden ribbon, it felt too empty. So I was like, no, I want to add uh, another ribbon with a different color. And I decided to go for this um, green one to make a little bit more full, let's say. And because I go with the flow, around here I was like, okay, it's missing something. So I also had some paper cups in um, in my office in the stuff you know that I wasn't using that I knew one day I would use to do some craft which I kept which I don't throw I usually don't throw nothing usually sometimes I throw something and I regret it but <laughs> anyways usually I don't throw anything because I know I can make something and uh, yeah so I decided to make this uh, paper cups bells as you can you can say 
to, to add to my fantastic Christmas ornament. So the first step, as you can see, I just like poke a hole with my scissors in the cups and I put the, the ribbon inside and I needed, I didn't have bells, if I have to be honest. So I decided, okay, I need something that just makes, you know, a little bit of noise. It's just more for decoration, you know. And, um, and I, I remember that I had in my, in my, uh, in my office, I also had this, <laughs> you can tell I'm a candle maker. <laughs> I have a lot of, you know, candle related stuff, but this is basically a wick holder, you know, that I got because when you make a candle and your wick is too long, you can uh, chop in half, let's say. And then the other half, you don't throw it, but you just get a, the wick tab, 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 yeah. <laughs> and you just put the wick inside. So basically that's what it is. You put the wick inside. And, um, but if you don't have these, which I understand normal people don't have these, you could even use like bu buttons, you know, if you have the button for, you know, that you have at home for, for sewing like jeans or whatever needs buttons. I'm thinking anything like little there's metal then make because it's metal make you know kind of a, of a kind of a bell sound if 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 you know if that's how you say it yeah and I decided to put two just because when they touch each other when you move you know the bell uh, it's more like a, a sound similar to a bell let's say so that's what I'm trying Now I'm tidying the ribbon on top of the cup and because the wig tab it's uh, it's like larger than the ribbon I'm just how do you say closing it <laughs> with this tool I don't know how you call it you can see my cat in the meantime with this you know tool I don't I forgot the name of the tool but yeah I just close it so I don't lose the wig tab so my bells let's say Now I decided to decorate my bells with some washi tape and I had this beautiful gold that will match the, you know, the theme of my Christmas decoration. So that's what I'm doing. Of course you can, you know, change the colors, like you can go crazy. You could even use some glue, some Mod Podge. I was thinking, I haven't done it here because I don't have the spray paint, but what you could do if you want to, you can even get the paper cups and just if you have the, the glue gun and just put some dots with the glue and then when it's dry you just spray with the like gold spray paint that would be nice that would be really nice and then I'm using my glue gun to glue the top simply because I didn't want to like the ribbon to come off you know maybe like there was nothing to keep it there i don't know if i can explain but yeah i needed yeah the glue to to actually seal i think that's the word to seal the the ribbon so it wouldn't come off And then I'm putting more ribbon to create this kind of, you know, handle, if you will, to just to hang so I can hang my, my bells on this Christmas ornament. Now I'm getting more golden ribbon so I can attach my bells you know on the <laughs> on the Christmas decoration and yeah that's about it and of course you can get creative you can use different type of straws whatever you have different type of ribbons if you have you know 
different colors that's all cool And this is how it looks on my door. I think it's pretty. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in my next video. Ciao, guys.